Hey guys, I have a haul today from, a lot of it is clothing from Rue 21, and there's some makeup stuff, but um, I wanted to film this because I got some tank tops and stuff that I have to pack, <laughs> so um, the first thing I got were these sneakers, which I already wore, so I had to just go grab them, but they are, they were on sale for 10 bucks and have blue and purple palm trees on them, so... I needed new sneakers. These are just like slip-on band type shoes <laughs> that uh, they're pretty comfortable actually for 10 bucks. You can't go wrong. I um, forgot what I was going to say about them. Um, I got them because I needed new sneakers to walk around Disney in and I already wore them because I wanted to see if they were comfortable enough to do that. Um, but I'm going to be all touristy with my palm tree sneakers in Florida. Um, and then, let's just do this here, shall we? I have no rhyme or reason on my desk right now. It's always a mess when I'm trying to do haul videos. Alright. Um, I got, a, I just got a sports bra because I've, that's all I've been wearing lately. They're just really comfortable. It's just a pink and black one. I think this was like 12 bucks or something like that. I have this issue where I don't know if I have weirdly shaped shoulders or what, but regular bras, just the straps want to fall off my shoulders constantly all day long and it drives me insane to have to be digging in my shirt and pulling my straps up. Um, I can tighten them as tight as the bra will go in the morning and then like an hour later I'm digging my straps up. For the <laughs> So I just figured that because these are like racerbacks, um, they're just so much more comfortable. And I've really, really been enjoying this kind of style. And it fits really well. I'm very surprised with Rue 21. Um, because all the stuff I've ordered from them so far has fit me nicely. And a lot of the times if I get Junior stuff from like Kohl's, it'll either be way too big or way too small. I don't know what they do with their sizing at Kohl's, but as much as I love that store, I can't really shop in the Junior section that much. Um, but this stuff has all fit awesome so far, so I'm really happy about that. And they're nice and cheap, so Rue 21 is going to get me as a customer for clothes in the future. Not makeup, but we'll get to that in a minute. So I got, um, they had muscle tees, or muscle tanks, muscle tees, right? They were like two for twelve ninety nine or something like that. They're normally twelve ninety nine a piece. Um, so I got two of them. Because I don't really have that many tank tops. I needed some new ones anyway. This is Cookie Monster. And it says Me Want Cookie. And it's just adorable. It's like a little comic strip. Hopefully you can see all the cuteness. He's got like... I love this one where he's like rocking out. Um, but it's really nice light material. These are the ones that are cut like way down here. The armholes are big so you kind of have to wear something under it. Um, I got a couple bandeau tops for that so or just wear your bathing suit top under it. Um, and then the other one I got was Star Wars and this one was just bright and colorful and fun. Again it's got like comic book print all over it. It says Darth Vader in big print at the bottom, and then it says, where is the other writing? Luke Skywalker strikes again over here. It's just really cool, and then Yoda's on the back. Can you see? Yes. <laughs> but those are really cute. I'm gonna have little try-on videos over here. And this is my favorite one. It's just really lightweight and flowy, and it's gonna be nice and cool. It's inside out right now. Hold on. This is just a white tank top with a skull and flowers. They had black too, but I figured I don't want to be walking around in the hot weather in black, so. And then it's like a racer bag. Which is, that's the cool thing about this bra. It, even though it's black and this is a pretty sheer shirt, the back of this lines up perfectly with the back of this tank top so you don't see any bra straps which is awesome so it's so soft too and just i don't know i love the shape of it i was afraid this was going to be too short on me when i like held it up and looked at it but it's perfect again i love their clothes so far um now their makeup is another story i've told you guys in the video i did about the electric palette dupe that they sell 
This is my fourth one now. Fourth one. And they all arrived broken. But this one looks like it's okay. I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to save this for the giveaway. Um, because they all come in these little plastic baggies. And the last one I got, the last four I got, I should say, all had one color or another busted all on the inside of this bag. So this one's okay. I hope so anyway. Whoever wins it and I ship it to. I haven't started the giveaway yet. I'm going to do that after I get back from vacation. But whoever I ship it to, I'm going to wrap it and wrap it and wrap it so it doesn't break. Um, and then I got two of these and these are both completely crushed. <laughs> Which is a bummer because their makeup seems to be pretty good quality and I was excited for these but this is like a bronzer highlighter blush palette and the bronzer and the blush is crushed in that one and then the blush is crushed in this one. I got two because I was gonna add one in a giveaway but I can probably like press it and fix it but I'm not gonna give away something that I've had to fix and everything so that is kind of a bummer because that those look like a good dupe for one of the uh, Urban Decay Naked Flushed palettes so I wanted to do a video about that but it's such a mess, it's going everywhere, just me touching it like that, so I can't even swatch it. Um, and then I got this palette, which is fine, thank god, this is the, it just says 10 piece eyeshadow palette on it, but I think this is like a dupe for the Naked 3 palette, especially this color right here, it's like the, what is the name of that color, Black Heart, I think, from the Naked 3. <sighs> kind of hard to open, bear with me here. It just looks so much like that, the darkest color in the Naked 3 palette, but I swatched these yesterday and they're so creamy and pigmented and nice, it's kind of crazy for, this one was $6.99 this palette, so like here's the first three shades across the top, that's like a creamy color and it's not powdery at all, and then you have like a shimmery light pink and a metallic pinkish color, and where did my makeup wipe go? Then there's two metallic shades right next to it, which is like a metallic rose and a metallic gold. Look at how gorgeous those are! That's just one little swipe! Then across the bottom here we have some browns. I'm probably going to end up doing a comparison to the Naked 3 palette actually with this because this is so nice. I wasn't expecting it, again, to be awesome quality like this. That last dark glittery shade on the bottom is a little bit dry. All the other ones are super creamy, but again, it's still super pigmented. And the glitter actually shows up in it. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it, but it's got like tiny reddish glitter in it. So super impressed with that palette, and actually everything, all their makeup stuff was buy one get one half off. So like, I bought this for $6.99 and got that electric one for, what is it, $3.49? Um, yeah, I worked retail. Anyway, um, then th these couple things weren't from Rue 21, but I just wanted to throw this in here anyway. I have, blah, blah. I needed a laptop case because I'm taking my laptop to Florida with us. And I didn't want to spend a lot on one because, I mean, when I'm at home, I don't really use a laptop case. Um, but it's just like a padded purple one. I don't know what brand this is. It's got a little logo on it. But it was only 11 bucks on Amazon. So they had a bunch of different colors. And um, I just recently got a new laptop, which is why I wanted this, because I don't want it getting banged around and stuff. I had the same laptop for like 12 years or something like that and just finally got a new one. And then I found this site, this store online on Store Envy. Um, it's called Worship 13. And I had ordered a necklace from my grandma, which I don't have because I already gave it to her and I wasn't thinking of that. I should have filmed a little clip before I gave it to her, but it was like, um, like a little goofy looking witch because she collects witches. And, like, it doesn't matter if it's Halloween time or not, she 
loves witches. But I also found that they had, hold on, my hair is like stuck to it. I'm going to have to put it on a different chain though because this chain just wants to rip my hair out if it gets stuck in it. Um, one of my favorite like childhood books, hold on, I actually still have it so I'm going to show you before I even show you the necklace. All right. I liked creepy things even as a child and I know a bunch of you that are my age are going to remember these books. The scary stories to tell in the dark. <laughs> they had creepy ass drawings, creepy artwork, like... These just intrigued me so much when I was little because I liked to be a creepy child. But like, <laughs> everything is just creepy. <laughs> That's the thing, and like, everything is black and white and me and my brother used to scare each other with these all the time. It's like a dead body hanging in a chimney. <laughs> This is my favorite story ever from here, the big toe. But yeah, um, I found a store that makes jewelry that had pictures from this book. And <laughs> I got a pendant, and this is really well made. I need to learn how to make resin jewelry because it's just, I could do so many things. But this is the creepy, I forget what story this is from actually, it's in this book, there's like three of these books, I believe. What is the name of this book? The, uh, the, 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 the name of the story that it's in is The Haunted House, but it's from this. This is the picture. This is the pendant. So I just, this is always one of my like favorite, it's so creepy. I, I don't know what was wrong with me as a child, but as soon as I saw that this was a necklace, I was like, oh yes, I have to get that. It's so, I just, it's very heavy duty and I don't feel like it's a flimsy thing that's going to break so just go on storeenvy.com and search the for the shop name Worship13. She has tons of like horror related jewelry which is really nice. Um, they had like a Captain Spaulding ring but I mean I've, I'm trying to get rid of my eczema and I don't want to, I don't even have my wedding ring on but I don't want to flare up any rashes on my fingers right now but she does do custom orders so I might contact her and ask her if she can do a Captain Spaulding um, pendant like this for me because that would just be awesome but I love this so much this is like my new favorite pretty much all I wear for jewelry is my wedding ring and necklaces I can't stand bracelets like I can't stand having stuff on my wrist and dangly earrings or anything like I I can't really wear them anymore because I have um, my plugs in anyway, but um, necklaces are like my number one thing, so so excited about this. And I hope my friend Kelsey didn't watch this video because she hates that that drawing. So <laughs> I'm sorry, Kelsey. Just click away. Um, but yeah, that's it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will talk to you in my next video.